Hello Scorpio, how are you going? This is your mid-month reading for September. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Air, anywhere in your chart you might be interested. Can be for a cross-watcher. Hello, cross-watcher. If you're returning, hello, come in. Sit down, make yourself a cup of tea, you know, where the biscuits are. And if you're new, welcome in. Someone will show you around. Make yourself comfortable, kick your shoes off, and um, let's chat. What have we got for Scorpio for the rest of September? One more. One more shake-up. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck in the base of the situation is the Four of Swords. Taking time out to think things through, meditate, rest. Have a bit of a review. Okay. Yeah. And here we have some Capricorn energy, also known as the Devil. This is the current situation. So some ego, bondage, and not the good type. Um, addiction, narcissism, all the wonderful things that come with the devil energy. Yeah, in the past there was some lying, some thieving, You've got the Seven of Swords, which is usually the sneaking out in the dead of night energy. Um, and it involved secrets because you've got the moon here. And this could be you or someone else, but this was what has happened in the recent past. And that's why the current energy is the devil energy. This is big because you've got two major arcana. Um, your current feeling about it is the magician now maybe you feel like you manifested this you created this or that you can create a different outcome which is you are the master creator in this in this energy and this is how you're seeing the situation maybe you think it's all smoke and mirrors maybe you think it's an illusion or you could create an illusion because this is there is the moon card as well which is all about illusion what you're not seeing is the two of pentacles you're trying to decide between two things or juggle two things and your higher self wants you to step into the king of swords energy very intelligent truthful um you know the, the king of swords energy is judge um ceo that real factual and honest and straightforward, very straight down the line energy. You've got the three of wands here, um, which talks about waiting for your ships to come in. Although in this situation, the wands are bound and there's a lot of noise around coming in. Yeah, the advice here is to pay attention to messages coming in, but make sure they're very grounded and factual. 
Um, this is earth energy. This is Capricorn. Again, with the Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn um, in this situation. But it's all about taking steps, steps forward, moving forward, taking the mask off. See how the mask's lifted and the messages are coming in clearly. Possibly seeing for the first time. And then the outcome of that is an ending. It's the Ten of Swords. It could feel like, you know, the Ten of Swords talks about daggers in your back and the ending of um, past beliefs, thoughts, words, um, ideas. That you've had and in this card I love that they're, they're dandelions it's like everything I, I believe the end of things that I believed that were fluff and would just blow away um, that weren't grounded and solid and and true um, I'm just gonna What's this Three of Wands? Clarify the Three of Wands for me, please. Lots of head noise and you're finding it really hard to hear your own intuition over the noise of battles you've got you know the five of swords which talks about fighting and battling and succeeding but at the expense of everyone and everything around you and sleepless nights coming around as well you're wanting the ace of swords um which is a fresh start in truth but you're you're really having trouble hearing that truth um over the noise so this is why the advice is to pay attention to your intuition and your intuition not somebody else's that has placed a mask over your your face and and caused you to see things through their eyes but to see things through your own eyes and hear your own intuition and then you'll know how to move forward in your own truth i'll just ask one more thing what can you do if you don't like this i mean the Ten of Swords is not a pleasant energy, but it is the end. Again, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Talks about putting your wound, putting your your burdens down oh something nine of cups your wishes aren't going to come true until you do this until you let this stuff go until you really let it go, until you just say, okay, um, I'm going to let myself feel what I've been avoiding and then put down the burdens and allow myself to heal because the wounded warrior, the, the nine of 
Wands talks about almost taking a knee by just pausing and breathing and allowing yourself to heal. And the outcome of that is the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. That's the wish fulfillment card. But you can't have that until you can hear your own voice and hear your own intuition. That's why the overall message is to take some time out and meditate over all of this. Um, this is the Rumi Oracle and I love Rumi. So what advice have you got for Scorpio this month or the rest of this month? What advice have you got for Scorpio for the rest of this month? Al Uza, Star of Venus. I'm going to have to look that up, but that's beautiful. And Blood Angel. Blood Angel is a gift through pain. Um, let me look up this. Star of Venus. Venus is the ruler of love and beauty. And, you know, all things pretty. I'm not going to read all of it um, because we'd be here all night. But your guidance then is to trust your path, trust your evolution, even in the face of those around you reacting to it, possibly in fear or discomfort. Trust in the path of others too, for in truth there is one path and we are all on it. You do not have to convince anyone of anything. That is not your job. Your job is to embrace your wisdom Embrace your freedom and empowerment to grow spiritually and live your life accordingly. You are becoming, through best bestowal of grace, something more of a goddess and a god, of a human and a sacred animal integrated as one. This is sacred alchemy. The magician is alchemy. Amplified in the star fires of Venus who loves you as brother, sister and honours your soul with her blessing. Shine true, beloved. Shine bright. I'm just going to look that up too while we're at it because I want to... This is important for you guys. This is really important. This oracle comes with a particular blessing of well-being and vitality. You have perhaps become tired or are well but seek to engage in new projects and practices that will stretch or challenge you. The blood angel brings you the blessing of whatever energy is required to expand into where life is leading you. What the divine has instilled within your heart shall be financed with life force and energy so that it may be brought to fulfilment. This is a sacred contract of human life. The journey shall be taken by the soul and there will be challenges. And yet what is required for divine fulfillment will always be available. If you have been struggling with your energy levels or emotional or psycho psychological challenges, more so than usual perhaps, then you are asked to complete Bear with me. Complete what you're going through. You are going through growth and opening. It can be unstable for a time and you can be more vulnerable than, us than usual. 
this will benefit you, benefit you far more with spiritual protection during this time. We'll be uncomfortable. But this is the path you're on, love, and that's the way it's heading. Your intuition, your wish is coming true. You are the magician. And you have to stop listening to the past and outdated ideas and beliefs and theories and whatever. Recognize your wounds and rest from them because this is how you get to hear your voice and um, reach your potential. Let the devil go. This is, it is very deep, but you know, Scorpio is deep. Because you know if the sun shines on the devil, it's kind of like sunlight on a vampire. It burns and the truth comes out. All you've got to do is stop being so afraid, my loves. Take the mask off. Pay attention to the messages. Love you lots. Talk to you soon. Bye.